Hey guys, what's up? This is your boy Fino, and let's go ahead and get into this game. I've been waiting for this motherfucking game to come out. It's called Pass Cure. It looks very interesting. It kind of has like that, it has that Max Payne, Quantum Break type of feel to it. But anyway, I'm not going to hold you up. Let's go ahead and get this motherfucker started. My father always said, that it's our dreams that reveal our deepest nature. If that is true, then I'm lost. What is going on? Where the fuck am I? Shit, you tell me. Damn, this shit looks dark as fuck. Damn, I should have lightened this bitch up. Okay, there's a gun up over there. What the fuck is that? Stay back. Stay away from me. Fucking mannequin and shit. I have to find a way out of here. Yeah, guys, I should have definitely brightened this shit up. Oh, the graphics don't look all that bad. It looks pretty damn good, though. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. I had to brighten that shit up real quick for you. Ah, bitch. God damn. Okay. Waiting for this door to light up. Oh, shit. Okay, I can go ahead and go straight through. There's more of them. Holy shit, it's on the opposite side now. This is some goofy shit. Oh shit, two of them? There must be a way out. Here we 
we go. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go with this shit bullshit again. There we go. Ooh, that was close. Wait. What is this? Where am I? Am I? Am I dead? Damn, this takes me back to Max Payne. Like Max Payne dream sequence on fucking... What was that? The first Max Payne on PS2? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's exactly what this shit reminds me of. new. The girl 
screaming for help. Where the hell did she come from? I need some water. 18 months of nightmares. Ever since I escaped from that hell. 18 months. Relentless. Unchanging. And suddenly her. She wanted to take me somewhere. What pulled her away like that? I know I'm about to go way off subject, but this is a nice fucking house, man. Damn, I want a house like this. Shit. I think it's safe to say that he is fucking crazy. Don't look at them. They're not real. Yeah, this is some freaky ass shit. Keep it together, Ian. Concentrate. Okay. Oh, I gotta walk between these fuckers? What the fuck y'all looking at, bitch? Okay, there it is. That's better. These hallucinations are getting worse every day. I can tell. Call from Marcus. Marcus? Who else? Sorry to disturb you so late, but I had a bad feeling. How are you? Not good. Nightmares? Hallucinations? Both. But this time it was different. There was a woman, Marcus. Do you know her? No. But she seemed... familiar. Like I should know her. Do the pills still work? Yes, thank you. Not only for this. For everything. Ian? I mean it. I turned up out of nowhere with the weirdest story and you believed me. You took me in, let me stay in the beach house, got me medication. You're my brother, Ian. There's nothing in the goddamn world I wouldn't do for you. Thanks anyway. Thank me later. I have a present for you. I found a trace. The man who took me? There's a traitor trying to sell a remarkable drug. It's called Nexus. And it's supposed to give the user certain abilities. He's selling to a pretty shady organization tomorrow morning. Give me his address. They rented two floors of the Crowley Arms, downtown. The place will be brimming with mercenaries, Ian. I don't care. If he's the lead, I'll be there. Are you sure you can control it? Yes. Good. I will keep on digging and send you the information tomorrow. Rest now. Take the blues if you need them. And gather your strength. We will bring them down, Marcus. We will burn them to the ground. Good night, Ian. Good night. Out of the ruins of World War II arose another battle. An arms race began, with each side employing the brightest and most ruthless scientists to develop a new weapon, the human mind. With government backing, projects like MK Ultra gave birth to a dark age of science. Inhumane experiments were conducted on prisoners, students, 
and even children. Their goal, unlocking the hidden power and potential of the mind. Most were shut down from their dangerous methods and lack of success. But there are many who believe that they were continued in secret, financed by private organizations hungry for the promised powers. Powers attained through pain and suffering, turning men into monsters. said only the weak speak to themselves but I like it it keeps me focused helps me make sense of this mess three years I'm missing from my memory three years between stepping out of a plane from Syria and waking up on a highway in England I have no idea what went on in that time but something changed in me something I can't explain my mind is not the same anymore. I can see and do things that should not be possible. I have somehow gained a power that I can barely control. A power that's turning me insane. Whatever has been done to me, I'm still a soldier. And a human being. If I hold on to these thoughts, I will survive. Okay, now we going back into the fucking house. Or the beach house or whatever. I should check my gun before the morning. I'll need it tomorrow. Okay, I gotta do some training. Who do you turn to when you are lost? Your family. Marcus was smarter than I. He left the service long before me. Made his fortune as a doctor. He was there for me. And still is. Damn, what's wrong with the TV? What the fuck, Marcus? Come on. Damn, he must got Spectrum. in here oh the shower god damn this is a nice ass motherfucking place the shooting range is locked huh he got a shooting range in this motherfucking basement. Huh? That's interesting. Since my abduction, I see the world in a different way. Or should I say, I see it in a different rate. If I concentrate, I can see everything in slow motion. It's beautiful to watch, but leaves a splitting headache. I've read many accounts of outer body experiences throughout the world, but nothing like my own. At will, I can leave my body and see myself from the outside. Huh. Can't wait to see that in action. Marcus insists that I keep a dream diary. He says it's vital that I record all hallucinations and dreams. The entries are always the same. Horrific locations. Violent deaths. But last night was different. The woman calling my name. She has to mean something. Alright, let's speed up this fucking tutorial. It's too much fucking story. Not enough action. I know what you're thinking. What 
normal person builds a shooting range in their basement. Well, I'm not a normal person. Besides, it was not his idea. He thought it would help with my recovery. I will clean this good old soldier. Marcus believes his powers are good, and I should master them. But he doesn't know what it's like to feel the very sanity being drained from my mind. That's why I try to do things the old-fashioned way. If I keep my skills sharp and remember my training, I shouldn't need them. Damn, I s <laughs> my aim is off like a motherfucker. Can I get a redo? Oh, I can't. Uh, well, then fuck this shit then. All right, we're heading back upstairs. Go to sleep. Okay. I should get some sleep. Concentrate. No nightmares. The woman from my dream last night, she has to mean something. I know it. Maybe if I focus on her, she will come back. She was beautiful. figures again. This one is different. It's not moving. I'll have to find a way out before he wakes up. Okay, guys, this is going to be it for this part. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, guys, y'all take it easy.